Hi, I'm Asha from Skate Fresh and welcome to London. So today's video is not a technique video, but it's a question that many people are asking me and this one came from Danny and it's specifically about foot pain. So foot pain when you're wearing in new skates or it can sometimes be foot pain that kind of continues. So when people ask me about foot pain, I always um, ask several questions and primarily where is the foot pain and what kind of pain is it? So first of all, if you're getting a blister, um, it means that your foot is moving inside your skate. It means your skate is too large and you need to stop the movement. So two pairs of socks or, you know, a smaller pair of skates. So blisters generally mean movement, which means non, not well-fitting skates, okay? Um, I'm going to show you two places where many, many, many people report having serious foot pain, okay? So I'm going to take off my skate to show you because it's really important that you can identify where is your foot pain and how we're going to fix it, okay? So. You can see that it's uh, it's autumn in the UK and uh, very soon I'm going to be heading off on my world tour and uh, before Christmas I will be going to Dubai and Kampala, Singapore, Sydney and Brisbane, all of that before Christmas. So um, if you want to know more about my world tour, if you go to the Skate Fresh website, there is a world tour page. So first of all, Neoprene footies are um, neoprene wetsuit material. These are the best things for protecting this whole ankle area of your skate. So I highly recommend everybody um, buys some of these. Um, as a consequence, they make your foot bigger. So I wear very thin socks underneath, okay? So if you find that with normal socks and a footie, it's too tight, then uh, go for thinner socks. Okay, now the place I wanna show you that most people have, a lot of people report kind of pain here. Here's your medial malleolus, which is your inner ankle bone. A lot of people report pain here on the inside. So this is the first one I'm gonna deal with. Now, think about where your ankle strap, yeah, this bottom ankle strap goes right over that place, okay? Now I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna stand up, because I want you to see my foot on the floor. Now, when you bend your knee correctly, as you all know how I like it, let me put this up. When you bend your knee correctly, this part of your foot is quite low. Now watch what happens. I've got my weight on the ball of my foot, yeah, which is correct, because I've got my knee bent. Now watch what happens if I move my weight back. Oh, can you see that tendon? So if you wiggle your big toe, this tendon starts to get engaged. Okay, so watch again. Weight on the ball of the foot. Look at this space here. As I move my weight back, boom, the tendon engages. That, if you have any pain or any kind of uh, you know, pressure pushing, I guarantee you it's probably, oh, you see the tendon doing its thing? So if you keep the weight on the front of the skate, the tendon is relaxed. That's how your skate should be in your, um, your foot should be in your skate. So if you're getting re recurring pain here, then it's probably not bending your knee enough, yeah, your weight shifting back and the tendon doing its thing. Okay, so many, many people have this problem. Okay, so again, more knee bend, see if that fixes it. Okay, so that's problem number one area here. And again, the footies are also gonna protect that area. The next place, I'm gonna sit down, is this bone here. So here's your ankle bone. There's another bone right here. And this bone can cause a lot of problems for a lot of people, okay? Now, this is not a technique issue, this is a kind of what shape is your foot and unfortunately different brands of skates have a different kind of fit so if you're getting pain on this particular bone then I suggest several things so firstly heat mold your skates if they are heat moldable secondly pad it out with a donut shape so a circular bit of padding with a hole in the middle put the hole in the middle over that part yeah so then you're spreading the pressure around that area okay so that is you know unfortunately for example, there are certain brands of skates that I can't wear because they don't, they're not my foot shape, yeah? Some brands are much wider, some brands are narrower. So this is why I always recommend that you try on your skates. Buying skates online is inherently problematic because you just don't know if your foot is designed for that brand, okay? So, you know, this one here, much more difficult to fix. It could be that you've bought the wrong brand for your foot. Okay, this pain here on the more front of the ankle is very often technique based and very often um, knee bend based, which is kind of strange, right? Because nobody ever thinks of that problem. Okay.
okay? So remember, when you skate, have your weight on the ball of the foot, super good knee bend, and it should stop that problem from happening. Okay, so next time I promise I'll give you some technique help, but uh, you can't skate or practice if your feet are in pain. So I really hope this helps. And uh, I hope to see lots of you on my world tour. After Christmas, or rather after the new year, I will continue from Brazil. I will go to Peru and Mexico, San Francisco and New York. So um, if I'm gonna be anywhere near you, please do come and see me. I promise I'm much better in real life in class than I am on YouTube. So I hope to see you soon. And uh, I have another great, exciting announcement. I have a new website with lots of free things coming for you extremely shortly. So hopefully uh, I can help you even more. Have a great day and uh, enjoy your skating. See you soon.